I know what footballers mean when they say it hasn't sunk in yet, so it is quite a strange um, unreality. I think I'd probably been practising not getting it for six months, so I hadn't dared think about what it would be like to win it. Brian Hoare is a remarkable man who has waged a tireless campaign against the folly and hubris of our government's foreign policy. Bravo! Wasn't it glorious? Wasn't it glorious for humanity? Big man with a big heart does his part. And all the wonderful people with him. Wonderful team, wasn't it? It wasn't a one-man show, was it? It was getting on for 50 metre collection of placards, statements, photographs, documentation, uh, teddy bears, the badger, the loud hailer, there's what was Brian Hall's bed. Um, so everything as it was on the day before the police came and, and, and confiscated it. Um, and that ran through the length of the Duveen galleries, the neoclassical galleries in, in Tate Britain. And how did Brian react when he first moved to the idea of doing this, recreating <laughs> his life? Well, the first time I introduced himself to Brian, he told me to, to piss off, which uh, <laughs> is a story he likes to tell. Um, no, I, I, um, we kind of hit it off pretty quickly, and, and he was yeah, right behind the idea from the start. Otherwise, I couldn't have made it anyway, so, you know, yeah. So people coming to this show, to the actual Turner Prize exhibition here in Liverpool, um, aren't going to see that because that's been taken away and put to storage. But the work that you've got on display, this, this work yeah. called Sleeper, which is you wandering around in a bear costume mm. in a Berlin mm. gallery. Can you tell us a little bit about that? It got so hot some nights I didn't know whether I was unwell or just very hot, you know. <laughs> and I quite like that it's just two and a half hours, you know, unfolding in real time. So there's a couple of times when I have to disappear downstairs, you know, to cool off for, for a few minutes. And, and so you can wander into the installation and it's a bit like the empty tank at the zoo and you're trying to find the creature, you know. But it's about as near to being naked as one could be in a bear suit, you know. Bear, you know. <laughs>